Welcome back. We are back on our project today and we are ready to tackle something new. And that something new is console commands. If we jump over to the terminal, we've ran PHP Artisan many times and we've ran all of these different commands. But what we're going to be working on today is adding our very own command. Commands have a ton of different uses and you can do just about anything with a command. The command that we are going to be working on today is a command to add companies to our database. If you remember from our project, let me jump over to our project right now. Even though we have a customers list, we don't have a way of adding companies. Now, of course, we could add a whole new form to add companies, but you already know how to do that. We talked extensively about RESTful controllers and how to get this done. So I want to show you how to do it in a different way. So my idea is a PHP artisan command that we can run and add a company. So let's see how we can tackle that. First and foremost, we're actually going to start with a command, and that is the make command. Obviously, as we've learned before, Laravel has a great way of scaffolding things for us and getting us right to what we need to do. So let's make a command. As always, let's run PHP artisan help make command just to see what the command is about. And it looks like a name is the only required argument. So let's run that again and let's give it a name. Let's just say add company command. Let's add that. Whoops. Looks like I still had the help on. Let me remove help. And there we go. Console command created successfully. All right. Back in PHP storm in our app directory inside the consoles, we now have this new commands directory. And inside there, we see the add company command. Awesome. All right. So of course, Laravel has scaffolded everything for us. So let's start with this signature. This signature is what we're going to run right after PHP artisan. Typically, you will prefix all of your commands with something related to your project. Obviously, our project is really just a dummy project. It doesn't really have a full domain. But we could say that this is about companies and customers. So maybe we can prefix this with contact. And of course, we're going to say company. All right, let's run PHP artisan right now. And if we scroll up, we actually see our command right here. Contact company. How cool is that? So Laravel added that command for us automatically. It is automatically looking for commands and adding anything that it finds inside that commands directory. So you see that contact becomes a grouping. So as you see now, make all of the make groupings are underneath make and you see that they all start with make. That's the way it works. So now that we have that, we can write a description. Let's say adds a new company. Easy enough. So if we come back and run PHP artisan again, scroll up, adds a new company. So we see our description of our command in here. What about PHP artisan help contact company? Yep, we do have that. And of course, we don't really have any required parameters just yet. We'll tackle that in just a second. Let's keep looking through this file. So we have a constructor. If you need to add anything in the constructor, that's where you would add it. And we have our handle method. And this is really the one that we are concerned about. I will actually remove our construct because we don't need that at all. And we'll just handle everything inside our handle method. So how can we add a company? Well, of course, we have a model. So let's just say company equals company. And that is app company. It is being imported up here at the top use app company. Otherwise you get a company class not found. And then we can run create and to create, we can pass some arguments. Now let's take a look at the migration just to refresh our memory on what we have here. So create companies table. All we need is a name and a phone number. That's it. That's all that's required. So let's say name for now. We'll just say test company and we need a phone number. So let's say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, great. So now that has created our company. So how do we output some text back into the console? Well, let me show you this. I'm going to actually comment that line out because I just want to show you this on its own. If you run this, there's a couple of different methods that you can call. 
One of them is info. And all you need to do is pass a string. Info string here, for example. Let's run our command. PHP artisan contact company. And we see info string here. Okay. Let's duplicate this. And I can use warn, for example. That's another one. So let's just say this is a warning. I will output both so you can see the difference. So there we go. So this is an info string. This is a warning. And then we do have error. And error, of course, will be in red. Let's check it out. So there we are. So we have an info string, a warning string, and then an error. So you can use any of these at some point. So now that we have that in mind, what I'm thinking is maybe we could say added, and then I want to output the company name. So of course, I can fetch that with company name because I am saving this create to company. And the create method returns the new model. Before I run this, I want to check one more thing. And that is the following. I want to make sure that my company is going to accept the create method. If you remember from previous episodes, you have to make sure that guarded is set to an empty array or that you explicitly list out the fillable fields. So in our case, guarded is set to an empty array. So we are good to go. Before I do, I do want to show you what we currently have in our company. We only have ABC company and DEF company. All right, let's run that command now and see what happens. PHP artisan contact company added test company, obviously our message. And if we go back to the form, hit refresh, we now have test company. Very cool. So we were able to add a company through the command. Now, of course, we are hard coding these values. And that is probably not what you would normally want. So I want to replace these with actual text that we can pass in. So how can we do that? What we can actually do is very similar to route files. We can use the curly bracket notation and put in name. Okay. And then instead of hard coding a string, we can say this argument and we just need to pass it the key. So we'll say this argument name. We will take care of the phone number in just a second. I just want to show you what we changed. Let's run PHP artisan help contact company. And now we see that as an argument, we require a name. Pretty cool. All right, let's do that one more time and add a new company. PHP artisan contact company. And let's give the company a name. We'll say that the company name is going to be a new, a new company. All right, a new company was added. We can obviously tell it already worked because we could see that we added a new company. So we received the string from our command. And if we go back to Chrome, hit refresh, we have a new company. Great. Now let's do the same thing for the phone number, but I want to tackle it a little bit different just to show you something else. For example, we can pass in another curly bracket here and say phone, but you could put a question mark right afterwards, which actually makes it optional. Okay. Let's check this out. Back to the terminal, PHP artisan help contact company. So now we see that as an argument, we have phone, but we see that this is optional. We don't quite need it. Okay. So let's do something here. Let's say this argument phone. So if you provided a phone, let's use that. Otherwise, let's just say N A. Fair enough. Let's try that command now. PHP artisan contact company. We'll just say bananas. It's going to be our company name. And we won't pass in a phone number. Let's run that now. And now let's run another one. But this time I do want to run a phone number in it. So we'll say one, two, three, one, 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 two, two, three, three. Pass that in. All right. So to show you that that worked, let me pull open table plus and check out our company's table. So we see that we now have this bananas that says N A because we obviously didn't pass anything into it. And we have this one, which has our phone number that we did pass in. So this first one corresponds to this PHP artisan command. Notice that there's only a name and no phone number. And then this second record here was generated by this command right here. Obviously noticing that we have bananas as a name, but then we do have an argument, which is the phone number. 
I want to show you one more thing about that. So back in PHP Storm, you can actually give it a default value right there. So we can say instead of question mark, we can hit equal sign and then we'll say N A and that will actually do exactly the same thing. So let me run that command one more time. That was successful. Let's jump to table plus, hit refresh, and sure enough, we still get an A. So we can actually remove this line right here and just leave this argument phone. And again, let's try that one more time. Refresh, and sure enough, it's still working. So we do have that default baked into our command. So that is the basics of writing a console command in Laravel. So in the next episode, I want to take it to the next level. But before we jump into that, go ahead and play around with making your own commands and seeing what other features you can add to our project using a command. Like I said, a command can do just about anything. So when you're ready, let's jump into the next lesson and continue to work in our command, adding more advanced features to it. I'll see you then.